man. This is Evan Tweeves. Mm. Woo! Yeah. Welcome to another episode of Dropping In. Who's dropping in today? It's Snubble Bandit! I mean, Andy Roy! Sure, Randy. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. How are you? Yeah, man, dude, he's asking the questions here. I am right now. Oh, okay. All I'm right. fine. Thank All you. right. And how about yourself? I'm doing wonderful. Fantastic. That is fantastic. Yeah. And wonderful. All together, that's fan wonderful. Is yes. that what they say? I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Roy. <laughs> Andrew. Andrew, that's what my mom calls me when I get in trouble. When you're in trouble. Yeah. You hear it upstairs. Andrew! I, I hit the back, door, the back door. You're out of here. You're gone. <laughs> so, Andy, what brings you to the show? I got invited. No, some friends told me about your show and uh, hit me up to take a little adventure, a little trip here, and uh, check you guys out, man. What are you doing in Pennsylvania? I came out to host a FDR contest, the Halloween contest. So uh, I came to announce it, scream at people, heckle people, get people fired up, and uh, have some fun. Dude, it was sick. FDR, I've been to a 4th of July one, and it fucking went nuts. It was pretty <laughs> rad. People were blowing each other up. So I was like, I'm in. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, yes. I've seen some shit that will make my grandmother's toes curl. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty rad. I love the environment. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back! Zembo Temple of Skate Design has all of your skateboard and art supply needs with a great selection of decks and completes and a wide variety of trucks and wheels. Zembo also has assorted colors and brands of paint as well as something for every artist and discipline. With a great selection of shoe styles and colorways, and tees and long sleeves and sweatshirts and pants, and hats and socks and bags and banners and knickknacks and more. Zembo Temple of Skate Design is located at the front and brick stop under the L at 1842B North Front Street, Philadelphia, PA. Or visit us online at ZemboTemple.com. Hey, what's up? This is Kristen, and you're watching Dropping In. Welcome back! Here we have Andy Royce. Ah! Tell me, Andy. <laughs> do you ever lose your voice? I have a couple times. Yeah. It's kind of out right now from FDR. I thought it was going to go all the way out, but it didn't. I like to scream a lot. Yeah. I just get excited to see skateboarding and people fucking rip, so I just get overwhelmed, just like to fucking scream and get excited. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's, that's skateboarding cool. fucking rolls. Yeah, I just get excited. It's fucking sick. Yeah. Skateboarding's Good. fucking rad. You're still hyped on skateboarding. Forever. It's in my blood. It's in our blood. You know what I mean? Like, once the skateboard, you don't ever see like, it's in the, we're skateboarders for life, straight up, one hundred of the Mr. Roy. Yes. How'd you get into skateboarding? I got into skateboarding, uh, my mom, and she got a, ba a babysitter. And he was into punk rock and skateboarding. And so he had a quarter pipe in his front yard and I would just watch him and he let me use his board. And I just, that's the first time I seen it. I was like, I think like seven or eight. And then I didn't get really into it till I was like, like 11, 12, it was like, that's all I did. It was like nothing else. Cut school, fucking, that's all I wanted to do. I guess that's, uh, leads us into the next question. Where'd you grow up, Andy? I grew up, I, I was born in Antioch. I lived in, uh, Modesto for a little bit, but I, like, uh, when I was, like, 
10 or 11, I moved to Santa Cruz. And that's where I, where I really skate, you know what I mean? I grew up skating Derby Skate Park and going to Vista Pool and like to see these older cats. Like, dude, it was this fucking, that's where I call home. It was insane. Everyone skated or surfed. Do you surf? I tried surfing in the beginning and it's fucking gnarly. That's mother nature. You know what I mean? And the locals were super mean. They, they, they were super, they were territorial. You know what I mean? And I just like, it was easier to step outside jump on your skateboard and fucking go. So skating was just like way easier and cheaper. Surfboards cost a lot of money, wetsuit. It was easier just to fucking step on a skateboard and push. You know what I mean? So that was just like, all right, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I just came easier. Skateboarding was way rather, I don't know. And it was like an outlaw thing, you know what I mean? It was just tough. Like skateboarding wasn't cool back in the day when I was growing up. No. The girls, you didn't get laid. No, everybody you. Yeah, like the jocks. You yell that all the time. Yeah. It was fucking sick, dude. And then, like, if you seen another fucking dude with a skateboard, another kid with a skateboard, you didn't even have to, like, you could just look like, that's my dude right there. You know what I mean? Like, you guys yep. are instant friends because, like, there wasn't many of us. Yeah. And dude, we're fucking, yeah. we're all one big family. Oh, right. I don't, it doesn't matter where we're from. Dude, we're all in this whole fucking together. Dude, we're all skateboarders. Oh, we gotta stick yes. together. Trip Tips with team writer Selena Meehan. She's going to tell you how to do a front rock on an unfinished quarter pipe. The first step is you go fast. The second step is you ollie. <laughs> the third step is you do a front rock. The last step is you ride away clean. Sandwich? Man. What's your favorite sandwich? Sandwich? I don't eat bread. I, I stop eating bread and sugar. Gluten intolerance? No, I just get it. I'm, I'm getting older and I'll get a bit. It just fills you up. You know what I mean? No, I just try. I, I, sandwich? I mean, if I ate a sandwich, I like BLTs. So I don't know. I just been trying to eat healthy. Good. I'm boring now. Yeah. Yeah. So I've been trying to stay healthy. Stay healthy as I can, so I can still run around like little fucking past. And we'll be right back. Here we have Team Roger Charlie Doran doing a dump truck to steamroll. Ooh, how flattening. What's up, motherfuckers? So good damage. Thank you, thank you. Oh, this is a blast, man. Yeah. I think it. Glad yeah. you're enjoying it. Yeah. I'm hating this. I'm just, just not. <laughs> I'm joking. These are jokes. Yeah. I'm gonna make that joke. Alright. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. This, this month's, month's noble, noble is DT from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. DT makes stickers, wheat pastes, and installs. You know, general street art stuff. You can see DT's work in the streets and a bathroom at the Philadelphia Insectarium and Butterfly Pavilion. What motivates DT is mainly the buzz of the city when en route with stickers and street beers. DT's typical project routine is freestyle background, screen print foreground, then staple to utility pole. DT dreams about really bizarre stuff, like doing a possible skate and BMX tricks. And driving dreams are the weirdest because they've only driven about four times in their entire life, and in those dreams, they feel like they're doing something bad. DT's closing words of life is do you and legalize it. Tell me. Oh, get out of the shot. 
back off, Jack. I'm Merry Christmas. <laughs> so, the last time you flipped your board, was that big pants small wheel? Yeah, that's when street skating came in, like all the vert and ramp skating was like done, and here comes the street dudes. I rode for Santa Cruz, and they're just like, they told me I had to dress a different way. Like, it was like, because they told me I could, like, I. You have to wear baggy clothes and like, you know what I mean? I just wore flannels and jeans. Yeah, right. And I had to have an all street part, like, fuck off. But they told you... Yeah, they ended up kicking me off. What's your favorite all-time spot? Dude, there's so many. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I... I, I it's I, like asking your mother of 20. Yeah, there are so many... Voina uh, uh, Vista stands out the most. There's anything, because that's where, like, I got sponsored that's where everything started but dude just growing up that spot was always like that's just where i grew up and learned how to skate like you know even over all the traveling like i do have skate a lot of this. there's so much shit to skate but buena vista would probably be my all-time all-time just for that stands out the most yeah a lot of a lot of things in there and we'll be right back <laughs> Yeah. 